Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Shaden and in this video we'll look at installing and enabling the JD Admin Bar plugin. The JD Admin Bar plugin is something similar to a toolbar if you're familiar with WordPress. There's a gray bar at the top which gives you options to edit the current page and log into the back end and all that stuff. And this plugin offers similar functionality and it's very helpful when you want to jump quickly between editing articles and menu items and modules without having to constantly locate them. The first step is to install the plugin. You can download a copy from our website and once you do log into your Joomla website and go to extensions and install. And I'm going to install it from the URL here. Oops. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. It's installed. The next step is to go to extensions, plugins, and enable it. Now I I already had this installed, so for me it's already enabled. But for you, you'd have to enable it. And it's really as simple as that. If I go to the front end of the website, I should see a bar at the top. Now wait, I didn't see a bar. The reason being, I have to be logged in as an administrator in order to see the toolbar at the top. There are two ways we can do that. One, log in from the front end. So if you have a login page like I do, I can do that. Or two, you can actually enable shared sessions in Joomla, which is a great feature and you should enable it anyway. So go to system and global configuration and then go to system tab. And here you can see there's an option for shared session. So I'll change that to yes. And what this would do, this would clear my current session. So I'm logged out. And this time when I log in, session is created for the front end and back end. So if I go to the screen and refresh, you'll see I'm logged in and I have this toolbar at the top. And again, this is very useful. So if I go to this page, it's going giving me an option to edit page because it's a JD Builder page. It's giving me an option to edit the menu item. It's giving me all the modules that are rendering on this page. It's given me an option to create a new page, user, menu item, module, category, or article. And then I have all these menu items here as well, which gives me additional control over the Joomla website. And you know these options change when I go from page to page. If I'm on the About page and I click Edit Menu Item, I am editing the About Menu Item. But if I go back to the Home page and click Edit Menu Item, I'm actually editing the home menu item. So again, something very useful if you want to have more control of your Joomla website and be quickly able to do things and make changes and switch between, you know, back and forth uh, very quickly. Thank you for watching.